All right, y'all, here's what uh, we're working with today. I've been wanting to make a, another little beach cart. I tried uh, using one of those Harbor Freight um, trailer hitch carriers before, but they're made of steel, they're super heavy, and they're hard to deal with. And I would set my cooler in there. I said, let's get rid of the cart and let's make something that'll roll good on the sand. And I can carry all the stuff out in one, uh, one big package. So here's what I'm working with today. Uh, I just bought this new cooler. Uh, I'll show you the sticker here in case this is something you want to try. Um, to get the same thing as the Igloo Laguna 48. 48 quarts. Seemed like a, about the perfect size for what I wanted to do. Uh, I want to be able to put some drinks and stuff in there too, but also have you know plenty of room to put fish in there. And these tires here actually came off an old uh, parts four-wheeler I bought, like a, a kid's 110 Chinese four-wheeler. And I I thought they would work good. I mean, I, I won't know until I try it, but everything points to them being just as good as some of those balloon tires you can buy for the, the surf fishing cars because they're wide. They don't have a lot of air pressure. I mean, these aren't, aren't holding hardly any pressure now, so they should um, leave a wide footprint and they won't sink in the sand as bad. And I plan on... Uh, that's one of the things I got out today so I could measure uh, how long of an axle I need. I'm going to drill a hole in the corner over here, but like down through this corner where it's just the foam, put the axle through, and uh, the cart's going to sit up a little higher, you know, obviously as high as this is. And I'm going to put some backing nuts to space them so that it's not rubbing on the side of the cooler. Plus I also, uh, my goal was to take my sand flea rake, it's an Academy sand flea rake, Nothing too fancy about it, but right now, if I squeeze them tires really tight to the cooler, they're going to hit. So I'm going to need to space them out just a little bit more so I've got clearance for the sand flea rig. And I'm going to put some hooks here on the back to where uh, I can hook them in this mesh. And then probably even put a little bungee across to hold hold the thing from bounce around while we're uh, dragging it on the beach. And I don't have one yet, but I plan on even uh, building me a ghost shrimp pump this year. Something I've been wanting to All right, so that uh, ghost shrimp pump I was telling you about, I thought once this was hanging here and uh, solid and in place, I could set the ghost shrimp pump down, let it rest inside the bottom of the sand flea rake, and just wrap a, a bungee around the handle, hold it tight, and it would ride down the beach just fine. Uh, next thing, obviously, we need some rod holders if we're going to go beach fishing. So I bought this little kit. It's a three-position rod holder. Uh, Ozark trail I got from Walmart. I think it was like I want to say like 12 bucks. It's pretty cheap. And I got one of these on my boat and I really like it. So I, was, I thought it'd be a good uh, addition to this cart too. I plan on putting it kind of towards the front of uh, the side of the cooler that opens, so that uh, when you open, if you put it on the other side, when you open the door, the the lid you know hangs off the back and it might interfere with the rods. But if you put it on the front side, it's not going to interfere with you opening the cooler. And the cool thing about it is it's got these. Uh, Extra slots for putting pliers and fish grips. You can hang bait knives, little lures from the, the holes in it. So it's, it's kind of versatile and it um, obviously holds three rods. When I go surf fishing, I usually bring a four rod spread. Uh, and then when I do, you know, I'll need at least one extra rod holder. I bought these individual ones, Ozark Trail one position rod holder. Uh, and I thought maybe I could get them mounted right here on the corners of the cooler. As long as I stay out of the way of the handle, I'll allow this, you know, kind of depends on the fitment of how everything goes together, but kind of my idea was to put one on either side so that way it's not interfering with the lid opening or interfering with the handle, which I'm going to show you in a second. Uh, I'm going to try to reuse the handle I, I had on my old cart, but it's going to go right here on the front. I'm going to try to mount it right here to the front and stick it down far enough so that when this is up on the beach tires. The whole cooler will sit level. And once again, I think this, this handle is going to go bye-bye. It's going to be in the way where it's at right now. But when I get the handle here on the front, I bought this little, I think it's actually like a cereal container for keeping cereal from going stale. But I thought it would be great to go in between the rails on my handle. And I can pop the lid off, slam my uh, little tackle boxes and my fish gum, fish bites, whatever I'm using that day. You know, I can put my phone and wallet in there so it's not getting all sandy and, and kind of keep it out of the way. I'm hoping it sits in between where the rails on the, the handle are going to be. And then, um, I know it looks kind of rusty now. I'm going to 
put some rust inhibitor on there. This is the handle I made for my old beach cart. I bent it out of three quarter inch uh, EMT. It's a little wide for the cooler right now, but I'm going to shorten it a little bit, make it more narrow so that it will mount on the front of the cooler. And before I do that, I think I'm going to put, some, like I said, some rust inhibitor to, to keep it from getting rusty. And I got some uh, truck bed liner. I think I'm going to wrap it with to hopefully keep the salt water and all the, the moisture out of it so it'll last a little longer. Like I said, that little container ought to sit in between it and I can put all my goodies in there. Um, last but not least, if you're going out, you know you got to have some, some rod holders and stuff and hopefully an umbrella if you want to stay out of the sun. But I bought these hooks and I'm going to see how they play out. I don't know if I have to go with a different uh, hook or not. These are the coarse thread. I don't know how good they're going to hold in the plastic. But I thought even if I punch into where the, the back side of this is, I could screw something on the back side to, to keep some tension on it and then use some, uh, what's that stuff called? Uh, 5100, 3M5100 Marine you know, silicone to seal it up and keep it in place. That way, you know, the weight of anything on there, it's not going to be that heavy. It's just some rod holders and maybe an umbrella. So um hopefully i can stack them along this way or just above the tires so they're not rubbing on it and that'll give me a place for my rod holders and uh and an umbrella which once the rod holders are out and the i'm fishing i can stick one of the rod holders in uh the rod holders on the cooler and you know sit back and watch the rods and, and stay in the shade is the the big game plan and i just went ahead and picked up one of these uh, fish rulers from walmart as well made by tsunami I'm going to stick on the top. It may be a little long. I think, think it says 36 inches. This thing's probably only about 30. But um, usually on the beach, I have caught fish bigger than 30, but, you know, it can at least get you to, to know um, your legal limits on Pompano and some of the other fish that are, you know, less than 30 inches long. But like I said, this is just kind of showing you what we're working with. I'm going to get some measurements today, and we'll get back after it tomorrow or sometime this week and try to get this thing built. Got some vacation time coming up and hoping to do some beach fishing here shortly. So stay tuned, see how it turns out. And then uh, hope to get you guys another video with us going out fishing with it and coming up back with a limit of pompano if we do everything right. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks a lot. All right, y'all. Thanks for coming back. We got a uh, beach cooler project going again. Uh, it took me a day or two, but I got to the store. I got some all thread I'm going to use for my axle for the wheels and some uh, nylon locking nuts and some washers to hold them in place. We got uh, some couplings that I'm gonna have to shorten my handle, like I said, make it a little narrower. So all that needs to be done. I'm just gonna start kind of ticking away at this thing. I don't wanna bore you walking you through step by step. Once I kind of get everything put, put together, I'll get back on the camera and uh, kind of explain how it all worked out. But I'll, Go ahead and leave a time lapse running so you can kind of see uh, my progress and what I'm making. <laughs> In. I got it centered on the cooler. I got uh, some washers there and some. These are nylon locking nuts, but I went ahead and put a back uh, back nut to lock it in place a little more. Um, one thing I've already kind of noticed is this plastic is not nearly as sturdy as it feels like. I mean, it feels pretty solid, especially around these bins and stuff. But I feel like it's going to flex a lot pulling it through the sand. So I'm probably going to add me some straps across this bottom just to give it a little extra support so when you're dragging it across the sand it's not trying to flex out this 
plastic on the bottom, but uh, my phone was updating, doing a little thing, so I couldn't start the video, but I went ahead and uh, started the backing up for where my wheel's going to sit on, and I held up my sampling rate, and just got an estimate for the spacing, so I'm going to set them both like that, put the wheels on to see what kind of clearance I got for hanging the sampling rate. Another thing I noticed with this three inch, uh, three eighths inch all thread I got, and the uh, actual hub on these wheels, this hub is significantly bigger. But I found a uh, piece of half inch PIX plumbing pipe, fits almost perfectly inside these hubs. And then that slides over here. There's a little bit of slack, it's not 100%, same size, but it's close enough. I think it'll allow these wheels to spin real easy on this all thread. I know we got bearings too, but just one less thing to try to bind up on us. So I'm gonna go back to the time lapse, do some more measuring, see if I can get these wheels measured and uh, keep hammering away at Alright y'all, as you can see, I'm kind of running out of light tonight. I'll probably stop after this and pick it up again tomorrow when we get more light. But I uh, narrowed up my handle like I showed you at the beginning of the video. Pretty much as narrow as I can get with these bends on 3 quarter inch EMT. Honestly, looking back, uh, if I was to do it over again, a half inch EMT, you can get one inch shorter bend, which uh, might kind of be ideal. Because this is pretty much the exact width of the cooler and what I'm probably gonna have to do is I kind of set my level up on here and the best way this thing fits is if I put this little uh, I don't know, body line or the contour of the cooler right here where this bend starts I can get it up flush top and bottom and I think it's gonna work pretty good uh, but I'm gonna have to probably drill these holes here at like a 45 degree angle and I think I'm gonna use uh, some longer nuts and bolts to go all the way through and I'll have to terminate them here on the inside that way I know it's plenty sturdy um, obviously I, I found the weak spot with the axle how this stuff isn't really as thick and sturdy as I would hope it would have been so I don't want to risk pulling this handle completely off 
being in the middle of the beach somewhere and hand will come off my hand and me have to struggle trying to roll this thing back without having a nice handle for it so I think that's going to be the plan um, like I said it's getting late and dark the video ain't going to come out good if I go any longer so probably going to do some pre-planning and uh, get this thing prepped out and we'll pick it back up tomorrow when it gets light out. Again, I know it seems kind of like a long project, but you got to work overtime. You only get like an hour a night to work on something before it gets dark. You just got to make do with what you can. But I'm back here on the uh, beach cart project. Um, I got the wheels and tires back on. As you saw, I did the time lapse and uh, putting the truck bed liner on last night. Same thing with the handle. I do have a little touch up to do, but I can do that while it's on the cart. Um, I'm not going to lie, I did already. Um, pre-drill all these holes and I kind of set it up because that first night after I uh, got the axle mounted I just had to keep going or I knew I wasn't going to be able to sleep because I'd be thinking about how everything was going to work out but uh, got these rod holders mounted up and they work great uh, I'm going to throw all those things back on there do a little time lapse for you on that but I uh, just want to let you know I know I originally planned on putting the sand flea rake here on the back but with these tires here that sampler rake is just a little too wide. So I came up with a new plan. Instead of putting this little uh, storage tote that I was going to put here for my tackle box and my wallet and stuff, I'm just going to put the sampler rake here. The handle can come up. And uh, it doesn't interfere with you know me pulling the car at all. And then just mount this one on the back instead. And it fits between these wheels just fine. And uh, I said I'll, I'll do a little time lapse when you putting it all together and then kind of show you what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. Um, I know I spoke to you in the other video about reinforcing back here where I drilled through for the axle. And I think what I'm going to use, I got this little metal plate. I think I'm going to bend it, the contour to fit this, and screw it in from the bottom and the back side just, just to reinforce this on, on either side where I penetrated the, uh, the plastic. Because I pulled it around the yard and it it pulls real smooth, but if there's any extra resistance of pulling through the sand, I didn't want to risk putting too much stress here and just blowing out the backside of the cooler. I figure if I got some extra pull there, it uh, definitely wouldn't hurt. So we'll get the rest of the stuff screwed on there and uh, I'll show you what it's going to look like once all said and done and all set up. saw me get it all put together this is what the finished product looks like with it completely loaded out uh, I got my four main surf rod I like to use I got my sand flea rake sand spike my umbrella and they're all on here they're on the car feels real sturdy pushes and rolls around real good turn it around so you can kind of get a view of the other side Turned out pretty good. I still got some pinch and touches, but I want to get this filmed while it's still light and uh, I could show you a little better. I'm going to pick up the camera and take you up here, give you a closer look. 
Um, got the three rod holder I was telling you about. I like the extra storage with the uh, fish grips and pliers. Got my bait knife and my little hand towel I like to use. Clean my hands after I'm uh, baiting hooks and stuff. Uh, got three rods in there. Got an extra rod holder here that I can bring another one maybe if I want to you know, fish a small rod. I know if any of you guys watch Fish Gums videos, he's all about the runt rod and catching look, big whiting on the little tackle. It looks pretty fun, so we may try that. Now, don't judge me on my directional tires that are going the wrong way. I am going to flip those over after the video, but you think a, an old tire guy would know better than to get those things crooked. I did put my uh, sticker tape measure on here. It goes all the way uh, up to 20. This may not work out. It's not sticking to this plastic too well. I may have to go a different route, but I'm going to see what I can do to get this uh, to stick down better. But 20 inches will be great for measuring whiting and pompano. I mean, if I catch a big black drum or redfish or whatever, it's, I might have to probably keep a second little cloth ruler with me so I can, I can measure them up. But that'll just be a nice quick reference guide. And I got this sand flea rake here on the front. Like I said, it wasn't original plan, but... With the width on the tires of the back, I just had to move it to the front, but now I kind of like it. It doesn't really interfere with me pulling the cart at all. You know, I'm not busting my knuckles on it or anything, but I've got these two hooks I put into my handle. And I just use one little half-inch uh, PVC strap, and it's flexible enough I can just pop it out of there, get it out of the way, and then lift this thing up. <clears throat> I'll show you guys this. Um, I got it as a gift. It actually says it's a cricket storage puck, but I thought it might actually work pretty good for uh, catching sand fleas and putting them in there. Instead of keeping them in my pocket, you know. thought at least I got a nice little place to store it. Now I'll ride down there pretty good. And eventually I'd like to get, um, like I said, a ghost shrimp pump. I thought I could sit it down in here and just wrap a bungee up here. Keep it nice and solid, haul it out there. Uh, this is my uh, other rod, which is actually a 10-foot Daiwa surf rod. One thing I didn't take into account to begin with, but you might want to think about, is the length of the uh, the butt of the, the rod. That one's a lot longer than the other ones. As you can see, that's a 10-footer, and I got it held up a little more because it's hitting on my sand spikes. But these 8-footers aren't too long, and they don't drag the ground. But if I put that rod over here where they sit all the way down into here, yeah, they uh, it hits it hits the ground. It was gonna drag and cause a problem. So for right now, I'm just gonna keep it on this side. But eventually, if you know I get around to it and it's bugging me, I I might just uh, run a nut and bolt through the bottom of the rod holder so that they don't fall all the way down in, and it'll keep them up out of the way. But I got these big J hooks on the back. You can see I can screw them in right here, just below where the lid meets the base of the cooler. They're actually pretty dang sturdy. I mean, I wouldn't jump up and down on it or nothing, but it's good enough to hold some light-duty sand spikes and an uh, umbrella like I got on there. And then here's my little storage container I put on the back. As you can see, I got my surf fishing tackle box I take out with me. It's got, you know, some top water, swim baits, extra floats and hooks and most anything I'll ever think about using. And speaking of the tape, I think I got a little tape in here too. If you look right here in the corner, that's a, that's a six foot tape right there. I can use to stretch out if my 20 inch uh, isn't big enough for the fish. I got plenty of room. I got you know, extra rigs. I got some pyramid sinkers in here. I can load it up or whatever. Slam my wallet, my phone and stuff in there so I know but it's not getting lost in the sand. I've always been kind of paranoid about that. But now I know i got a safe place to put it. I'll show you on the inside how I bolted this handle on. I am going to have to trim these bolts down. And when I get them trimmed, i got some 5200 uh, marine grade sealant and adhesive. I'm going to put over these and just seal these four holes. And also, this is where those big J hooks come in. I'm going to put a measurement on here and cut them down because I don't need that taper part anymore anyway. It's already um, made its threads into the plastic and then also put some sealant around those holes too. But uh, 
there it is that's my little build so get, hopefully somebody can get an inspiration to do something on their own you don't have to build this exact one but i just kind of had this idea and been wanting to do it for a while and thought i'd bring you guys along for the ride all right y'all well here's the new uh surf fishing cart luckily i got one more day till vacation and hopefully the weather cooperates we can get out there and uh, do a little beach fishing we'll put this thing to use and i can give you a good review on things i like or things i might change but uh, for now, thanks for watching this video. Uh, hope you guys either got one or feel like making one. Or uh, if you got your own little build you want to show me, put it in the comments and I'll, I'll look it up. Maybe I'll get some inspiration on some things I can add to this one. So, once again, thanks for watching the channel. Halfway there, adventures. Peace.